Hi guys, finally here. I'm going to uh, let you know what I think about the Ego and the Husqvarna hedge trimmers. Um, before I start, I will say there's a, there's, a, there's quite a big price difference between the two. Um, the Husqvarna, obviously it's been about for longer, is, is quite a lot more money for the battery, the hedge trimmer and the charger than this machine, the battery and this charger. Um, it's quite a lot more actually, which I'll get to that later on, but um, yeah, it, it's quite expensive. So, as everyone knows, I run Husqvarna battery equipment, um, the hedge cutters, the hedge trimmers, uh, the long reach hedge trimmer, uh, the strimmers, um, just yet to get a battery mower or a blower, yeah. Um, so, I'm, I haven't got this Ego because I'm unhappy with this stuff. Uh, it's just, I've got a, if I have any warranty issues with this, I have to box it up and send it off to FR Jones, um, who, don't get me wrong, do a great job of fixing them. Um, but it's just the, the time it takes, it's about a two, two, maybe three week turnover. And for something that could be so simple, I just think it's a little bit too long. And plus the warranty's run out on these now. So, five minutes down the road, I've got an Ego dealer. Um, so, I don't know a few other people, a few good friends of mine, um, MKR has just gone out and bought a, a whole set of these Ego tools and he's quite happy with them. So I thought I'd do the same. Let's talk about the chargers. These are the two chargers. I know a lot of people have got a lot of good things to say about this charger. Uh, it's big. Obviously it's got to be big because the batteries that come out of these Ego tools, they are a bit cumbersome. That's a 2.5, so that's the smallest one. But um, they get bigger and bigger, obviously, as they go up in size battery. So you're going to need a big charger. A lot of people like this fuel gauge here, which I think is a little bit unnecessary. So when you do put this in, you do get a fuel gauge light on the battery. So I, I, I just think that is a little bit overkill for me, that charger. This charger is 70 pounds, rapid charger. This is also a rapid charger, Husqvarna QC500, and that's over 100 pounds. Uh, I've got a few comments saying that this is shit, but the way I see it is, all the charger does is charge a battery. You don't, you don't need to take this out with you. You know, the quality of that doesn't really matter. But um, it charges batteries just as quick as this one, in my opinion. But um, I don't know. That to me is is they're they're, diff, they're both plastic, but they're different plastics. I feel the quality of this plastic isn't as good as this. And it's the wrong colour. It's definitely a nicer colour. But that's just a little to touch on the chargers. Also, this I know a lot of people have got battery tools already, and they know that if you put the batteries in, they they make a, quite a loud humming noise. Um, this one especially is pretty loud when compared to this one but obviously this one's pushing it's, it's, it's got it's got a charge of 56 volt battery whereas this one is 40, 36 volts at best so uh, I thought I'd just talk to you about the chargers in my personal opinion I know this it's got all these grooves down it and it's color coded but I think they could have made that a bit smaller realistically you've got one this small but I'll put them to the side Next, the batteries. Um, again, the Husqvarna batteries are a little bit more pricey, to be honest. Um, it's pretty light, and I know most companies use this box brick shape battery. Um, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I like to put stickers on myself because they are a bit boring, I must admit. But not a lot of people know they're Anderson connectors. So you can charge stuff with them if you get the right connection. But um, this is Husqvarna's 5.2 amp, which is their mid-range battery. It's got a fuel gauge, I don't know if you can see that. It tells you how much charge is left in it. 
Um, not too heavy, but uh, more expensive than these. This is this is Ego's smallest battery they do. Well, smallest third generation battery they do. I think they do a two amp, but without the fuel gauge. This is a 2.5 amp with the five stage fuel gauge. Each bar represents 20%. I like these batteries. I've done a lot of research on these batteries. And uh, one of the reasons that we decided to try out this Ego machine was purely down to the, the fact that these batteries. If I just compare, compare this, this was 70 pounds. Uh, this was over, a, this was close, close to 200 pounds. This is a 2.5 amp, this is a 5.2 amp. So realistically, this should hold a lot, well, this should hold double the power this one does. However, this is 190 watt hours. And I think people forget about the watt hours when, when comparing battery tools. A lot of people just look at the voltage uh, or the amps. But the watt hours is how much power and charge these batteries hold. So like I said, this is a 5.2. This is a 2.5 amp. This holds 190 watt hours. And this one is sitting at 140. So when comparing the both of them, that's not bad. That packs that packs quite a, quite a punch, in my opinion. Um, and cheap. You know, you could get you could get five or six of these at 70 pound each, and still be the same sort of price as that. Um, so I will, I will definitely say that the batteries um, are better, better quality. They're rubber, they've got, I think it's, it's plastic, but it's over moulded with rubber. So it, it does give you a nice grip on it, they're nice to hold. Um, and it's good now that Ego have done the fuel gauge on the front, which is pretty cool. Um, this is, the, I say, this is the smallest battery they do, and it's sort of, has a little step up each time you go up so I'm not quite sure I think this is 1.2 kilos uh, I think the 5 amp is 2.2 and the 7.5 is 2.9 and they've also got a 10 amp battery which is it's, it's huge it's just a little bit too big so I'm, I, I would definitely say that the batteries from the Ego stuff is more appealing to the eye um, and with their lithium arc technology the heat dispersion it's uh, it's definitely got one over the Husqvarna I will go as far as to say that so let's look at the Husqvarna it's it feels nice the handle is round so anywhere you're holding it you get a nice grip of it it looks nice got the twistable handle, five point positioning. Like that. Um, it's got a metal metal gearbox housing, which is great. And I know some of the steel ones have got plastic which let's not even go there. I've had no problems with this at all. Um touch wood. I'm, I mean, I say you probably use this every day, and uh, not not one problem with it. There was a time when it started to make a little bit of a weird sound. Um, I think Kai from Love Lawns had the same problem, but um, it fixed itself, so I can't really complain with that. The batteries do look a bit boring when they're in, so we just added these Husqvarna stickers to them just to make them a little bit more appealing. But the balance. It's really nice on this machine. Obviously the handles at the back, the Ego, I'll, I'll go over that in a minute, the, the handle sits at the top, um, whereas this is at the back. So you can effectively reach further out with this. I know it's not for that, but if you, if, if you do need to. Um, the teeth are the exact, I know a lot of people talk about how wide the teeth space are now, and they're exactly the same. They're both 33 mil. That's 33 mil tooth spacing, and so is this. Um, I will say the blades on this do feel better. Um, I mean, this has been sharpened now, quite up to eight or nine times, and 
the blades are still perfect. They're brilliant. The blade quality is very good. I'm not sure about that yet because we haven't had to sharpen it, so I haven't filed any metal off that. Um, but it's quite long. The blade, the blade length 60. Um, this is the 520 IHD 60. They also do a 70, which in my opinion is too long. You might as well just get out a long reach if you want one that big. Um, and the blade speed on these is a lot superior to that. But we'll talk about that in a little while. Also, this has got the tip protector, which is very, very important. But ergonomically, it, 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 it does feel nice. It feels as though, as though the handles are in the right place. Nice and easy to do that. Yeah, can't go wrong with one of these. Obviously, uh, they're priced a little bit differently. As I said at the beginning, this machine without the battery dry is £340. Um, this machine without the battery is £170, which, which is half the price. So I mean, we've got three of these. If you work that out, I could have had six of these for the same price. Um, I will say straight off the bat that this isn't as good as this. Um, and I'll tell you why in a minute. We put the battery in the Ego. It's a nice, pretty nice system. Listen for a click. Uh, ergonomically, it's nice. It's not bad. I do like the way that the, the battery takes 